the big fuss around the block and I'm going to come through to my photo shoot and act up and I'm not going to try to be pretty and cute. I'm just going to be rough and tough because that's what I do. I feel like that's what I'm giving right now. So this hair, which has been literally like the breeziest, easiest body wave I've ever had because it hasn't given me no issues. Like it's real cool. It's from a company. Hold on. From a company called Dancing Hair. Yeah, Dancing Hair. And this is their mink Brazilian, uh, this is their mink Brazilian body wave. Now, they, this is their 10A grade A body wave mink hair. Now, mink is something that's been thrown around a whole lot and that's a term that is used often. But for me personally, I just don't see a difference between this hair and any of the other body waves that I've ever had. Like it's not special of any sorts it's just body wave now as you guys seen I went through I do not remember let's see if they put my original lens in here because I don't remember what they were because as soon as I got this I cut it but I only have it three bundles and it's real full like look it's real full gathered from this and they're them using the, the term mink is that because I only have in three bundles the hair is fuller than average body wave hair and I believe that that's what the point is here to say that it's mink hair um it says it is virgin hair but like I said whenever it's this uniform and it's this is not I can't be virgin because nobody's hair unless this person it was all one person which I highly doubt that a Brazilian person's hair was this minkified no but it's very nice, and I will say that. It definitely doesn't give me any issues. It doesn't give me any problems. It, it stayed like this since I've got it. Um, when I do go ahead and wash it, I like to use you know, my Tresemme conditioner, and then I use a diffuser, and it goes back to this. When I originally got it, I believe this hair was somewhere between 22 and 24 inches when I received it. Again, I only have in three bundles, and it's very full. I, they did send me a frontal, and that was the one thing that I did not like. I don't know what it was about their frontal, but it just didn't work. So I ended up finding this closure that I had around to go with this, and I just wanted the front to match the back so that it could be all as wanted and I found this cute little headband from Forever 21 that was bandana which goes with my gorgeous guest uh, t-shirt that I made and these cute little Adidas shorts which I wore once before in a review I don't remember which one but I wore it um, and then I had on these nice porch glasses that are blue just like mine. so it's a blue it's a red white and blue thing it's very you know 4th of July what I went and did was I put my my closure in I put a little uh, concealer here in a part so you can see it better because sometimes on camera like in person it'd be fine but then when you get on camera sometimes things just start to look very faint like you can't see it as good as you want to so that you guys can actually see I have a part and I just don't have a mop on my head because this without this this is what this will look like I'm up. <laughs> and the lipstick that I'm wearing is Lady Balls from Too Faced and my lip liner is Misfit from Kat Von D. So um yeah this hair has legit given me no issues and usually body wave hair after a while it won't do this it won't stay like this. You know, body waves tends to droop after a while. So I had it, I had wore it for about a good week in its natural state, um, and it was still in its natural length. And then I was like, I just want like a very just messy bob that I could just go and throw a headband or a hat on or just wear it like this and then go about my day. Originally, you guys know I love my side parts, but I was gonna do it in a side part, but I don't think I've ever done a messy bob in a middle part. So I wanted to do that, just something that I could look Literally just go like this and be good with like it wasn't gonna do anything that was gonna take me you know I could run errands with this I actually went and walked the dogs today um we went on like a little outing or whatever and I wore this and 
I wore my hair like this because I thought it would, and it didn't give me no issues. It's it's kind of hot here. It's not as hot as it's been, but it's hot. But it didn't bother me or because it's it's light. It's not. It looks like it's a lot of hair because it is full, but it's very light. You know, it doesn't give me any issues as far as me overheating or whatever. One of the downsides about this that I don't like is the fact that I can't like just like put it behind my ear because it's gonna look crazy because I don't have that frontal. But yeah, the frontal was just too thin and the frontal just didn't blend like I would have liked it to blend. And that was something that irritated me like to no end about this. But again, it didn't really matter because I was doing the middle part. Now, had I did like a side part, I would have kind of been more like, I really mad that my frontal didn't work out. But it didn't bother me at any sorts of this. Now, as far as the shedding goes, I run my fingers through this. Yeah, I'm getting nothing. And when I when I wash it, I don't get any shedding from this hair. Um, not that I can remember of at all. And that's very, you know, very uncommon because of the fact that usually what happens is with body wave hair, you get a lot of shedding because of the fact that it's not a straight texture, but it's also not a curly texture, it's that in between. So sometimes you'll end up with a snag or sometimes it'll wanna nap up or I guess tangle up is the correct term. But yeah, I, I mean, nothing. It's cool, you know? And you guys know I like to do my hot glue, glue gun method for a lot of these units because it's easier, it's quicker. Um, so I did the whole unit as a hot glue gun because I knew it was gonna be something very smooth and, and easy like this. I didn't wanna have the soul out a bob like it's so unnecessary so yeah i'm dancing here you guys get definitely a b plus for me i'm gonna take off the a because i didn't like my frontal my frontal just wasn't popping but as far as the hair goes it's, it's good and his hair is actually all one again a, a, a uniform color it's not like kind of a brown here and then kind of black over here. It's kind of a two down here. I've had, I just had to send hair back again because of that. Y'all, side note, I got some hair that was almost a four. Like, for real. And they sent me three. I'm like, nobody noticed that this, anyway, another video. But, yeah, dancing, that's the only thing I didn't like was the fact that my frontal just didn't match my hair and it wasn't gonna blend. We went through blended issues once before. If it was straight, it would've been so easy because the only thing I do is just straight, straight and straight, you know? Um, but again, like I said in the beginning of this video, I don't see anything different from this hair as far as texture goes to make it mink other than the fact that it is fuller than most hair. Now you guys know I did have mink straight hair and that hair was very, very full. So I'm gonna go, cause when I ask companies what does that mean, they, they usually give me like a very vague answer that just doesn't mean anything. But when I was reading on their site, they were saying that, you know, grade A mink means fuller hair with less bundles. So it pretty much gives you more bang for your butt. You don't have to buy as many bundles because of the fact that it'll be full enough with just three. So if I can get this with three, Imagine what you can do with five. You know, like, the girl, I'ma light it up, I'ma hurt them. So yeah, they get a nice um, B plus for me. Just work on your frontals when it comes to textured hair. I'm sure their straight hair is fine. So if you guys are interested in this nice bob, and again, for those who are gonna ask me how I did this, I literally just took it in f with three sections. I usually start from the back, because the back lets me know how much, like, where I wanna cut it. I just chopped the back, chopped the sides, and chopped the front, and I was fine. And then I left it a little bit longer in some spaces like here, just so it can feel very messy and big and kind of just unruly, but it's still cute. You know, you still can get away with it. You don't look like, I don't look like I just got up. I, I still look kept, you know? So, I will put the links for this below. Let me know if you guys like this. I feel like Aria off of Pretty Little Liars, even though I need to catch up because I haven't watched. But my sister called it her Snow White hair because it's just blunt. It was very blunt and to the point. So, I'm going to call this wig Aria. And I will catch y'all in my next one. Peace.